What's going on everybody, Jason here, and today I've got this 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid Pinnacle. The Chrysler Pacifica is the most awarded minivan last five years in a row. And safety wise, this has the most standard safety features in the industry right now. And as for the trims that you can get in the hybrid uh, model, you can get the Touring, Touring L Plus Limited, or this one right here, the Pinnacle. So let's start things off in the front because this is a fully, fully redesigned Chrysler Pacifica. As you guys know from the previous uh, models or the previous uh, design, this is a much more redefined look. And starting off near the bottom of the bumper, you can see this just looks really, really nice, especially the grill top and bottom looks very very clean it's like a shiny gloss black material which shines beautifully in the sun you've got your LED fog lights on both sides along with your beautiful beautiful LED headlamps which are very very redefined slimmer you know and all of that good stuff kind of reminds me of the Grand Cherokee L's and all of that stuff but this looks very very clean also near the bottom you've got sensors for your front uh, park assist and all of that and then of course you've got tons of safety features your forward collision warning and all of that stuff right above that you've got this massive massive grill in kind of like a platinum chrome uh, trimming around it and even the Chrysler logo in the platinum chrome and then because it's a hybrid your Chrysler logo is in blue and underneath hidden there you've got your front facing camera from the side it obviously still looks like the older generation uh, Chrysler Pacifica but obviously like I showed you the front is fully fully redesigned even the rear tail lights I'll show you in a second are much more better looking and I love how they chose kind of like that platinum chrome not the shiny shiny chrome because this platinum one is kind of like a matte finish and it goes all the way along the whole vehicle even the wheels are in that color but a little bit more shinier compared to the rest of the trim and then of course this being the hybrid version you do have your charging port right here which I'll cover that in a second there are level one and level two chargers and I'll explain what they are and stuff your side mirrors of course you've got the platinum chrome uh, and then the black bottom with the turn signal and then you've got your side uh, view camera and underneath right here you've got your entry exit lights for nighttime and you can't forget about the pinnacle badging so everyone knows that you are driving the top of the top hybrid pinnacle and as for these wheels these are 18 inch polished aluminum wheels these just look really really nice uh, just with the whole look of the vehicle with the trim pieces accent pieces being kind of like a platinum chrome this is kind of similar but a little bit more uh, shinier compared to that it's not as dull or as matte looking and you've got the nice Chrysler badging blacked out in the middle center cap and then of course you've got your roof rails which you can kind of pry open up here with these knobs on both sides uh, you can pull it up if you want to put stuff on here or just tuck them away like this and in the rear you can just see these beautiful beautiful redesigned tail lights it's just like one big bar that goes all the way along with that black accent in the center and then of course your Chrysler logo in blue as well and just to show you a quick comparison on how much better these lights look for the rear tail lights those are the older ones and you can see they kind of look bland and these ones much better right below that of course you've got your backup camera you've got the Pacifica badging and then of course your hybrid badging as well letting you know you're driving a hybrid just like the front bumpers the rear bumpers also have built-in sensors for your rear park assist and then you've got more of that platinum chrome uh, trimming all the way along here and then you've got your exhaust hidden underneath there so when it comes to towing it's actually not recommended to tow when you have the hybrid version but let's say you have the non-hybrid version you can actually tow about 3600 pounds obviously when you're equipped with the right equipment heading into the rear it's a, obviously a power lift gate um, you can see right off the bat you do get two kind of like a quilted pillows uh, these are especially for the pinnacle trim levels and in this box you've got your headset for the theater group which you get the you know the two uh, 10 inch touch screens behind the headrest of the driver and passenger seats and you've got a ton of room to put whatever you need to back here on this side right here if you kind of lift this open and out you've got your battery back here as well and right above that if you open this section this is where your level one charger is hidden away this comes with all of the obviously uh, hybrid models um, if you just open that I'm not gonna fully open it but this is a plug that you can plug in it's a 120 volt plug which goes into any outlet at your house 
Uh, it does take a little bit longer to charge, but I'll cover that in a second. And behind that, you've got your roadside uh, assistance kit if you do need it. Also, you've got the tailgate open and closed from there, and then a 12 volt adapter back here. These seats on the rear, only the third row, are stow and go. Those ones obviously are not in the center, uh, but these ones you can stow and go. It tells you the process of how to do it. Just pull some straps, tuck it down, and away you go. So you have all of this room once these are tucked down and in. So like I was mentioning, this is the level one charger. So you can plug this into any outlet in your house. And this is more for overnight charging. So it does take you know a, more than a couple of hours to charge. That's because you're using a 120 volt. But if you choose a level two uh, charger, which is I believe a 240 volt outlet that will charge your vehicle in about two hours and here is what the key looks like for the chrysler pacifica you've got your unlock lock tailgate release your remote start and then power sliding both doors on the right and left panic button and you've got the nice chrysler logo at the back and if you want to lock and unlock your vehicle all you got to do is press this button here it locks it have the key with you underneath and it will unlock now to open your tailgate there's a few different ways now you can do it obviously from the inside you can do it from the remote where you double tap and it opens to close it you're just gonna double tap and hold and it will shut down now let me show you another way which is kind of like a hands-free way so if your hands are tied and you have a bunch of groceries in your hand don't worry all you got to do is walk up to the vehicle right underneath the uh, bumper you're just gonna do like a kicking motion and it will open up for you very very convenient and the same thing goes for the left and right doors you can do it from here just double tap to open and to close it double tap and it just shuts for you similar thing to the rear this also has the motion detection for your foot which i'll show you in a second here um so again like if you're full uh with groceries and you have kids and stuff like that all you're gonna do is walk up to the vehicle and again on the side here you're just gonna do like a kicking motion and it will open up for you and to hear what this bad boy sounds like you're gonna take your remote double tap give it a second and the vehicle's on that's right it's silent you can't hear anything this is a 3.6 liter v6 pentastar engine and it's silent and as for what powers this monster uh, of a minivan and actually a luxury minivan uh, it's the 3.6 liter pentastar v6 hybrid engine of course as you can see um, this is going to give you 260 horsepower with 236 foot pound of torque now as for the hybrid battery it's a 16 kilowatt lithium ion battery now let's make our way to the rear all you have to do is press this or you can pull on the handle so much easier by just pressing one little button there uh, of course that's on both sides look at this interior it's a beautiful beautiful caramel kind of like a mocha caramel interior with the silver gray stitching all around it looks absolutely beautiful very very unique and let's get into what is back here because there is a ton of stuff you've got these beautiful perforated leather seats with kind of like a diamond stitching on all of the seats front back and even in the rear and you get the two captain chairs up front of course in the center here and just even the comfortability of these is just amazing just like the front it has nice bolsters to obviously hold you into place and you've got armrests on this side and on this side so both sides typically you would find it on one side but this has both and that's for both chairs and when we enter into here you have a button here which will open and close your sliding doors or you can use the actual handle I think this would be much much easier underneath if you look you've got another button here so if you know room back here is getting tight for you all you have to do is just press this and this will move the seat forward for you so it's kind of easier um, especially if you want to get in and out or anything like that and if you want to just bring that seat back you're just gonna press it one more time and it goes back into its spot that it originally was also in the rear you've got obviously these pockets on both sides to put small little things and this does have the theater group so you're gonna get your headphone jack here uh, HDMI USB which will be on both sides identical and then you've got these beautiful beautiful 10 inch uh, touchscreen screens for both sides to keep the kids occupied um, I believe there is a way to hook up if they have like you know their consoles Xbox PS4 and whatnot they can be well occupied back here and when you turn the vehicle on there's a bunch of little things that you can do you can obviously watch movies you can play games 
uh, see what you're listening to and all of that which is really really cool and you know very interactive especially if you have kids also back here you've got a little bit of a pocket or opening in here to put kind of like a phone or a very small tablet um, if you want to open your cup holders you're just gonna pull this section out this is a very big section, especially for the rear. Uh, the cup holders, if you don't need them, they come out. So you can store a good amount of stuff in here, DVDs, whatever you want uh, for the kids. And then if you want cup holders, place that back and you've got two for the rear. And also for the back here, you've got your own temperature control. So you've got a bunch of, bunch of uh, vents inside that obviously are meant to be for the rear passengers. And it's cool that you can control it from up here or back here now if you want to get into the rear third row you're just gonna flick this thing up here it's gonna fold it over and you're just gonna pull so you've got access to get in and out from the back here of course you can fit three people comfortably and again these are stow and go seats and even back here these seats look so so premium and luxurious and of course you've got your usb ports normal and type c and cup holders back here and you've got just one cup holder no usb ports on this side also back here this does have the tri-pane panoramic sunroof so you've got an extra sunroof for the people back here and a dual one for the front and the middle here this also has this very similar to the grand cherokee l's which is known as a fam cam so you can keep an eye out on the kids back here and what they're doing. And to see how the premium quality looks on the actual doors, if we go ahead and shut this down, you've got a manual window shade on this side and on that side back there and on that window over there. So a lot of window shades, which is really cool. You've got this hard leather or actually kind of like a plastic feel all the way around here. Uh, you've got your lock window opening uh, cup holder back here. And that's about it. Now, if we head up into the front driver's side, of course, you've got this nice hard leather with the kind of like a, the same caramel stitching, which looks really, really nice in contrast to the black. You've got leather all along over here, a little bit of room to put something. You've got your gas fuel uh, cap opener and then more storage and cup holder space here. You've got your 20 speaker Harman Kardon sound system in this. Let me say that again, 20 speaker in a minivan sounds crazy. And then of course you've got your window controls here and these side mirrors are power foldable. So one press of a button and they fold. This does have memory seats as well. And then you've got this nice wood uh, finish which is kind of like a gloss finish and it goes everywhere inside the vehicle I'll show you. Looks very, very premium. As for the front seats, just like I showed you in the second and third row, very, very plush and very, very comfortable in that caramel color with the gray piping, stitching, and then of course you've got your nice bolster. The front seats of course are heated and vented, which is a must have, no brainer. And then both of the driver and passenger seats are power adjustable, very, very cool. And you've got kind of like a pinnacle plaque right here. This blue thing over here is just from the factory. You can take it off. It'll just be like a platinum chrome uh, finish. Under here, you've just got foot pedals. You've got your hood latch release here, lighting controls, fog lights, and then your dimmable stuff inside. And then your steering wheel is manual adjustable. And when it comes to the pinnacles, this is the only color combination you can get on the interior, which is the black and the caramel finish. So when we go ahead and enter the Pacifica Hybrid Pinnacle, I love how they put this here, an extra kind of like a window or whatever. Uh, that's on both sides, so lots of lots of visibility to see all around you. The dashboard is in kind of like a hard leather. Uh, it is a little bit squishy, so it is, I'm guessing, leather some sort of. Goes all the way across, of course, which looks absolutely nice. You've got speakers there, there, and over there. And then this right here is your charging bar, which when you plug in, that lights up and each of these will light up in blue. Once it's all full, obviously, that means you are fully charged. Also, this being a minivan, you've got suede headliner. Guys, you have suede headliner everywhere, all the way to the back in a minivan. Pretty crazy. And like I mentioned, this kind of like a shiny wood trim, this goes all along here all along this infotainment system and of course down there very very premium and then of course you've got this uh the hard leather that goes all the way 
along here which looks nice it blends right into the dashboard as for the center gauge cluster you've got a bunch of stuff you've got your charging uh needle there you've got how much power you're using uh with battery and stuff and then of course your fuel and then your speed in the middle now in the middle here you can do a bunch of things just like any other vehicle that i've shown you you can control and see whatever you want in front of you so you can see your speed your vehicle information driver assist uh hybrid information trip info and there's just a bunch of bunch of different options that you can just have in front of you and something cool when it comes to especially the hybrids not only will it let you know how much charge you have left so right now we have 93 percent battery charge left and if i wanted to drive this solely on battery power only i have 56 kilometers to go and then your gas range will be down here so you've got 168 gas mileage that you can go combined right now i have 223 so it tells you both how much you can use which is really really cool and also another thing which is really cool if you go into the trip info it'll actually let you know how many kilometers total you've driven solely on electric and how much you've driven solely on just gas so it can tell you exactly you know how much you've driven on either or this is cool to have because most of the time especially you know for moms or people going in and around the city working close to home they're only going to use the battery because they're going to be plugging in constantly so they're literally not going to use the engine at all which is very nice also when it comes to how much you can drive just solely on electric you can go up to 51 kilometers right now it's showing a little bit more but that obviously varies on the temperature outside and all of that stuff and combining both the electric and gas mileage you can do up to 835 kilometers on one i guess you could say tank or whatever you want to call it really really nice and you know you can go for a very very far trip with your family in style and of course you've got your nice leather wrapped steering wheel in that caramel stitching which looks really cool and then of course you've got this platinum chrome that comes off from the exterior as well so it comes here on the steering wheel along the buttons down here everywhere which is really cool you've got your controls like i shown you for your center gauge cluster bluetooth cruise control and then adaptive cruise control with stop and go and all of that stuff and you've got that nice chrome in blue uh chrysler logo letting you know again you're driving a hybrid to the left of your steering wheel you've got controls for your indicators and high beams and to the right you've got controls for your wipers front and rear and fluid and in the center handrest fully fully leather of course in that beautiful caramel if we go ahead and open this you've got a decent amount of room in here to put whatever you need to and of course you've got usb ports in here as well uh normal and type c and then you've got your 12 volt adapter up here as well so you can tuck away whatever you need to right in front of that you've got two cup holder space here this is a you know a decent amount of size for a cup holder um of course you can put different cups and stuff and these are illuminated at nighttime very very nice to have if we go ahead and push this um you've got you know lots of room in here you've got wireless charger small you know to place your wallet and whatnot and more usb ports normal ones type c and aux cable and all of that stuff and this whole middle section here is covered in that beautiful beautiful piano black it goes along here as well and uh, across your center gauge or center screen here uh, it's just covered right now with the protective plastic uh, from the factory but you get my point looks really nice and right above all of this you've got your blu-ray player here you can use whatever movie you want to put in here and the people in the back can enjoy right above all of that you've got a bunch of bunch of different things but very similar and exactly the same pretty much as other vehicles you've got your heating and cooling controls here You've got your rotary dial for the shift knob right there, your electronic parking brake right underneath it, and up here you've got a bunch of stuff. So you can actually get assisted with the perpendicular and you know parallel parking, which is right here. You've got your parking sensors here, front and rear, you can turn them on and off. Um, lane departure and then your traction control right there and even in these new chrysler pacifica hybrids you've got this beautiful beautiful 10.1 inch uconnect 5 system touchscreen which is absolutely beautiful you get these in the durangos uh grand cherokee l's and all of that stuff and even in these so if you've seen my durango videos or my grand cherokee l videos i'm not going to take too much time on this but if you're new here and this is your first time seeing this new uconnect 5 touchscreen i'm just going to quickly go over it with you and what you can do so on the home page here you've got a bunch of stuff here you can have your map uh and then two more things on here so very very customizable right off the bat if we go ahead and press media, it will bring you over to your AM, FM, and Sirius XM settings. So you can do whatever you need to. 
over here in comfort again you can control your heating and cooling uh temperatures and then heated seats and all of that from right here or you can do it from down here this is so much easier and it looks so much cleaner uh, if we press rear, this is obviously for the rear people. And then if we exit out of there and go into navigation, you've got that built in right here as well. And then of course, if you've got your phone connected, you can do your settings here and whatnot. Uh, if you go into vehicle, there's a bunch of different things here, um, which I'll show you in a second on this e-hybrid because it is a hybrid, but right now we're under controls. So you can see your surround view camera because this does have the 360 camera, your top view, and then rear view, you have a different uh, options you can choose from, tons of them, which is really nice to have. And if we go ahead and exit out of there, this was the camera I showed you in the third row, the fam cam very nice um whatever you click on you can kind of zoom in so if i click over onto this seat it's going to show me a zoomed in photo of that over here over here whatever you want to press and if we go ahead and exit out of there and we go into e-hybrid so this is going to launch your uh, phav system so if i go launch that system there here you can see different things that your you know vehicle is doing right now so for example electric mode it'll let you know how much of the engine is using in power kilowatts and how much in battery and how much in the climate system that you're using within the vehicle uh, that's going to be under your power flow if we go into driving history this will just let you know how much of the battery was in use how much of the engine was in use and then you can also see your regenerative braking uh, thing here as well so that's very very cool to see exactly uh, kind of you know how you're driving your vehicle and then if we go into schedules here once you have your vehicle plugged in you can actually let the vehicle know what uh, day to charge what time to charge and set a schedule so every time you plug it in automatically let's say tomorrow or today at 5 p.m the vehicle will automatically start charging and very very cool especially once you go home plug it in and you're good to go and then of course you've got your apps over here similar things that i've shown you but you can go through here as well see your alexa and just different categories that you want to go through um, these buttons up here you can actually click on and it'll bring up like a shorter menu of your heating and cooling and same thing with all of these bars up here so when it comes to safety features with the chrysler pacifica pinnacle the high hybrid version of course um, you're getting a ton of ton of safety features I've shown you them outside in the back uh, up over here these buttons so some of the things that you're gonna get is adaptive cruise control with stop and go advanced brake assist audible pedestrian warning so if you're in electric mode and obviously the person let's say they're over there they're not gonna hear you coming so once you get close enough to the pedestrian or once the vehicle detects it it will make an audible sound so the person knows hey there's a beautiful hybrid pinnacle in silent in electric mode right behind you or wherever it is you've also got blind spot rear cross path detection forward collision warning with active braking lane departure warning lane keep assist and then of course like i've shown you here parallel and perpendicular park assist and then your sensors of course the park sense front and rear assist and then of course you've also got pedestrian emergency braking rain brake support and ready brake alerting above all of this you've got your rear view mirror sos and then you know you can dim it uh, assist as well above that you've got a little bit of room obviously for your sunglasses um, this is for your sunroof your sunshade which goes all the way back there of course um, you've got your side door uh, controls and then your power lift gate open and close interior lighting and of course like i mentioned this does have the dual panoramic sunroof in the front and one in the rear so it's a tri-pan panoramic sunroof if we head over to the passenger side again you're going to see these beautiful caramel seats um right down here as well uh, i forgot to mention on the driver's side you do have a ton more room to put whatever you need to which is really cool you're not going to run out of space in this bad boy for sure um and then in your glove department You've got a decent amount of room to put small little items and that's about it. And here is the window sticker for the 2021 Pacifica Hybrid Pinnacle. Here you can see, you know, exterior color and all of that stuff. And then you've got your standard equipment that comes with the vehicle. There's a ton, a ton of options that already come with the vehicle and you pretty much can't get any more. Um, that's pretty much it. And it's fully, fully loaded already. Uh, the only other things I believe you can get is kind of like a paint protection film or something like that. But again, it's already fully loaded. It's the top of the top. And the pricing here you're seeing is in Canadian minus any dealer discounts, manufacturing discounts. And then I believe you do get a uh, government of Ontario uh, credit uh, that you can get back from that as well. And that's it for this 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid Pinnacle. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you love this 
or do you hate it? <laughs>